All right, guys, I think I've got the, the windshield wrapped up here. So I've got, shine a light up in here and see if this will show up on, on the, the video. Um, I've got the, the larger, um, the larger uh, weather stripping on there. In fact, you can actually see right here. This is where the larger piece starts. I went ahead and they actually sent me uh, enough that I believe would, would go all the way around, but I only did just this top center part since that's where the, the gap is. <clears throat> and then I also put the stick on uh, right here. You can see just starting right there. Um, that is this weather stripping right here. And just to compare these two, you can see kind of the difference. It's not it's not huge. It's only again maybe a maybe a quarter of an inch, uh, give or take. But after getting this on, um, if I take my take my flashlight and shine it up in here and there's no light coming through at all. It is sealing and uh, and that's really what I wanted. Um, the The main thing here is, of course, it's good to have it sealed if, if moisture gets in there, but um, but really it's mostly to seal it with regards to uh, keeping the heat in. And one of the reasons why I got uh, some doors I'm gonna be putting on um, is just to keep the heat in during the winter and um in the, the cooler months when when i'm out on the trail um you know it's uh i've got the got the heater installed and and everything i don't have everything fully put back together yet but i've got that um that installed it puts out good heat um this will help keep in everything having the windshield wa wiper and the, the washer that i installed is uh is really really good um to keep it where I don't have to stop, get out of the vehicle, clean the windshield. Um, but uh, it does look like as far as the uh, everything goes that, that that additional weather stripping is what did the job. Um, I still have, uh, the only other thing I've still got to do is I'm gonna see if I can take um, this corner right here, I think it's just a hair too deep. And uh, you can actually see maybe right there that silver spot where the powder coat's wearing off, where it's just coming in, in contact with it. Um, I think if I can um, uh, can grind off this, this corner right here, um, this is just a hair too long. Um, and again, I know I'm gonna get ripped in the, in the comments for you know, having to do all this modification and so on, but um, in some cases, that's just the, the way it goes. And in my case, I don't mind doing it. Some people mind it. Um, they would not be happy with it. Um, I, I do think that something that, that, that would be possibly a little bit easier to do is if there was some adjustment down here where you could basically just move the windshield down slightly. The only issue you have is this vent down here. In order to, to move this down, you've, you've got to, to lower these brackets down and you've got to have some adjustment in here, which is kind of difficult. But um, that's kind of where things stand. You know, I'm pleased with it. It's not that difficult to open and close the windshield. I've got it uh, tightened down right now to let that, um, that new weather stripping kind of seal. But, um, you know, opening it up, it pops right out. Um, small little catch right here, which I'll, I'll work on getting that fixed. Uh, in fact, it, that, that could just be uh, the way that my, uh, my roof line is right now. I'm, I may have some adjustment there that I can make. But again, I'm not going to complain about it. I'm going to go with it. And, um, you know, my, my plan is, is for the most part, when I'm out doing winter riding, it's going to be closed. When I'm doing summer riding, it's going to be open. Um, and you know, that's, that's just kind of where things stand. So please leave your comments below. Um, please subscribe to the channel, watch my other videos. I really do appreciate it. And, um, I want to thank everyone for, uh, for all their support. And, um, you know, please support the, the smaller companies. And, and, you know, I mean, I do buy from Polaris directly as well. But, uh, you know, please support the, the smaller companies as well because I really do think they make some really good products that are very innovative.